everybody! Welcome to this particular episode of Doing Stuff with Hopper, in which we do stuff with yours truly, Hopper. Anyway, so, one of the things we're working on, uh, I gotta get rolling on, is my dually conversion. And, um, first things first, I gotta prep the axle. One of the things I ran into is, so this is the, uh, the pinion flange yoke adapter deal. Um, right here is where the drive shaft yoke attaches to and then this side is the the uh splined end and that slides onto the pinion well i gotta change that out unfortunately i don't have an inch and seven eighths well i didn't have an inch and seven eighths socket so i bought one well problems continue here's my here's here's the way to do the nut sits inside this it doesn't fit! Oh no, what do we do? Well, simple. We're going to put this on the lathe. We're going to chuck it up. And we're going to turn down this outer diameter. So it will fit inside of here. So that's what we got going on. But if she's working, no chatter, running nice. Okay, so I got uh, I got her done. You can see it slides smoothly. Whoa! I don't have my handle on my GoPro like I usually do, but. Should work just fine for removing the pinion nut. Now, I'm a little peeved. You can see there's a little line right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, not so pretty. Had a little boo boo, and in the few chatter marks there. So, bear with me. I'm a manual machinist on a lathe I really don't know how to run that well and I really have no clue what I'm doing my uh my machinist friend who was teaching me is become a snowbird and isn't around and there's no other machinist in the area so if you're watching this and you're a manual machinist and you have tips feel free to uh give me some pointers because I'm just uh mutzing around here uh left to my own devices I really have no clue what I'm doing well, I sort of have an idea of what I'm doing, sort of, but you can see these are kind of cutting nicely. Anyway, that's besides the point. I've got a tool to take my Dana 80 pinion nut off, and I'm pretty stoked about that. So, eh, it was a success. So let's talk about projects for a minute. I have a lot of projects to wrap up before winter time. Um, and one is involving this truck camper I purchased. I think I've showed it to you before. I paid 400 bucks for this sucker. So there's the damage. I gotta fix the damage. I've ordered a new battery compartment door. We'll get this fixed up, put this stabilizer jack back on. The old Hallmark Guinella, it's a 2010. Like I said, I think I've showed you guys before, but uh, just for shits and gigs, we'll look at it again. So, here's the sleeping area. I've got a couple of these vents, you know, nice fan vents. Lots of storage. Surprising amount of storage for a little pop-up. Um, yep, sink stove refrigerator a little hidden countertop blah 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 and then the toilet here it's a cassette toilet so that's kind of neato sweet little like boondocking camper so yeah that's that 
So I got to take this, this camper right here and put it into, into this. So the plan is, like I said before, the plan is we're going to cut, we're going to cut this. The frame's going to stay. The cab will come off. And then the frame will be cut somewhere right in here. And so remind you, the, the cab's coming off. The bed will stay. The frame rails are still going to be underneath. And then we can weld together a, uh, a hitch right in here. This will be the trailer. The truck camper will sit back in here. I'm not worried about the broken taillights because as you saw earlier, the camper overhangs has its own tail lights and uh, we're gonna have a pretty slick little unit in addition to that this engine is going to go into my jeep cherokee eventually as well as the transmission so like i said i have a really tall order of projects to finish before snow flies um <sighs> But that makes me happy because I really love projects. I really do. So as far as projects go, my most pressing project <clears throat> that I need to finish up and get rolling is uh, converting my Super Duty to a dually. This is the, uh, the flatbed here. It's doubling as a workbench right now. And then also the 411 gears and the Dany 80 in the rear. You saw me yesterday attempting to play Machinist Boy. Made my little uh, pinion suck it. Let's, uh, let's see if she's gonna work. So here's my Dana 80. And here's why I'm re replacing the flange, the pinion flange. See, this is the pinion flange here. Look at that big old nut. Oh my gosh! It's perfect. It's freaking perfect. I was at your mom's house last night and she said I could borrow her cheater bar. Ow! And she's off. Put a new seal in here. Put the new blobbity bloop on. Put the bolt back on. Call her a day. stand make life a little easier next I got to rotate it and I got to cut the shock mounts off I got to cut these old spring perches off I got to Replace all this brake line, replace these lines, replace the calipers, and then because my spacers don't fit all the way on, I have to take off like a half inch of each stud so my spacers will fit on. And the reason there's spacers on here is because this is a chassis cab axle and they're narrower than a full width F350 axle. And uh, if I want to clear the F-350's frame rails, I gotta use spacers. But they're machine steel spacers, not those weak-ass billet aluminum ones. So I'm not worried about strength, because they're freaking heavy and they were like 275 bucks a piece. And expensive means durable, right? Hello, friends!
here we are again inside my camper. I just want to give you a quick update of kind of a few things that I've been working on. Um, first off, I've been installing this uh, battery monitor <clears throat> made by Renogy. Uh, I installed the shunt. You can see it there. This is, I basically split the negative line and wired it in. And uh, so that's the shunt. And ran this cable, the, the control wire, through here. It's underneath the slide out. Comes under here. Goes underneath the bathroom. Through here, I fished it all the way through here. And it's coming out up here. And I think I'm gonna do another hole right here or right here. Don't know yet. So I can put my here let me, so I can have my readout either right here in line or be here. I think I'd prefer it right here. It's more eye level. Anyway, I also have been troubleshooting. Hang on, stand by, give him a flashlight here. Troubleshoot, I don't think my IntelliPower is working. And this is the this is the converter that's supposed to be charging batteries and doing all that jazz. I don't think it's working. I don't think it's charging the batteries properly because when uh, I've been plugged up to shore power, that sucker's been sitting at 11.8 um, volts, which is too low. And then when I plug the solar in, as you can see, we're at 12.5 volts, which is where it should be for two six volt batteries. Anyway, out here, I got the solar panel up there and boop, have a temporary line going down to my solar charge controller. That's the old Renogy Wanderer. And I'm going to be upgrading that to the new Renogy Wanderer because the new Wanderer has this and basically that's an output for a Bluetooth module which will then allow me to uh, uh, monitor the condition of the charging at all times. Anyway, as a quick update what's going on, I'm going to keep working in an L, uh, when it's all done, I'll let you know how it turned out. All right, we got her done. Nice, clean install. There. Now I can monitor my charge system, monitor what's coming in, what's going out, and uh, it looks clean to boot. I'd say that's a win. Heck yeah, it's my free Traeger. Needs a little work yet. Um, I picked it up for free, got it working. I think there's a problem with the um, control board. It doesn't do the best with heat regulation, but it's free Traeger and it seems to be working fine and I've almost got some uh, baby chickens for dinner. So anyway, well, that's it for now and um, I'm going to eat some dinner and sit in a hot tub and maybe watch some Blacklist and go to bed. Start it all over again tomorrow. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you around like a donut. Daddy boop.